Tell the camera what's going on here. Um, we're here to complain about the fact that they closed a bunch of dispensaries in San Diego, 13 at the last count. I'm here personally because I think it's a tragedy. There's no reason we should be denied medication. I'm a mother. I don't need to be thrown onto the streets to try to fend for myself. They should be helping us, not hindering us. Oh, may I give you some information? Yes, will you? Thank you. Hello, sir. May I give you some information? Tell me what's going on here today. Uh-oh. <laughs> we are protesting because 13 medical cannabis dispensaries in San Diego were raided on Monday, and we are protesting in major cities all around the country today. San Diego had their major protest yesterday. We're letting our local officials as well as the federal government know to stop their assault on medical marijuana. Thank you. DEA, go away! protest in response to DEA raids in San Diego. On Monday, they raided 13 dispensaries and were serving medical marijuana patients there. And uh, this is not the first time that it's been, uh, we've had about a dozen instances in the past three years where the federal government has raided a dispensary. They've taken patients to jail. They've confiscated the medicine, despite the fact that it's legal under our state law. And what we're here to do today is tell the federal government to stop busting medical marijuana patients and start working to ensure safe and legal access to medical cannabis. Thank you. Very good.
me. Hi, I'm Richard Eastman, 52 years old, living with AIDS since 1994. In 1995, I almost died, and I found out about medical marijuana, the Compassionate Use Act. I came to Los Angeles and helped open the first Los Angeles Cannabis Resource Center, the first medical marijuana club. That was 10 years ago. I'm still alive. The AIDS is almost gone. You know, I'm not cured, but the marijuana keeps me eating. This is all about patients such as myself, people living with cancer, multiple sclerosis, glaucoma, all the illnesses that are defined under the Compassionate Use Act of 215 of 1996. This is about compassion and people that, grandmothers that need their medical marijuana brownies and people that are going blind and people like Montel Williams with multiple sclerosis. And this is all about a cruel and unjust government headed by a cruel and unjust president, George Bush, who believes in stealing oil in Iraq rather than health care for people in this country. And that's why we're here today protesting the uh, closures of these medical marijuana clubs in our sister city of San Diego. You know, when we opened the club here in L.A. 10 years ago, there was only two clubs in the whole state. Now there's about 150. We can't keep letting them close us down. we got to keep fighting. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Who are you shooting that for? For, just, for, yeah, just, I, for the cause? Exactly. All right. Exactly.
They're suing the state to get out of this obligation. And that kind of a disrespect for the will of the voters and that kind of a disregard for the laws of this state is the green light that rogue cops need to go in and bust medical marijuana patients, to shut down dispensaries, and to roll back Proposition 215. Well, we have news for the people in San Diego, for the cops and the, the anti-medical marijuana crowd down there that has a stranglehold on politics. There is no rolling back Proposition 215. The medical cannabis cat is not going back in the bag. Absolutely and it is time for safe right. access in safe. San Diego, in Los Angeles, yeah. in San Luis Obispo, in San Francisco. The time for medical cannabis is here already. No. We are going to have state ID cards in San Diego and everywhere else. We're going to have medical cannabis dispensaries providing safe access for patients. And patients will be free of prosecution in California. Cities like San Diego and even Los Angeles can do that the easy way by implementing the will of the voters, by studying and passing good regulations. Or they can do it being forced by the courts, which is what's going to happen in places like San Diego where they're shutting down dispensaries and, and refusing to comply with even the most basic tenets of the law. And so everyone should know that while the DEA busted more dispensaries than ever on Monday, they accomplished less than they ever have before. It's a sign of our success that when 13 dispensaries were raided in San Diego, not one single patient was arrested. And they weren't arrested because the federal government knows good and well they will never get a conviction in this state for medical cannabis. And that means we're winning this war. 13 medical cannabis dispensaries were shut down in one day. Virtually every one of them is open today serving patients. And that means we're winning this war. in San Diego who have been overtly hostile to medical cannabis and despite that there's still vast support 52% of 96 as much as three quarters of the people support medical cannabis today right in San Diego County and that means we are winning this war now the next thing that we have to consider is what do we do because these folks are coming into places like San Diego. They could do it here in Los Angeles if we give them the chance. And shutting down the dispensaries, taking the medicine, taking the patient records, the confidential medical records that they're not entitled to. And we have to put a stop to that. And what they need to know is that there is a price to pay for busting medical cannabis patients. That there's going to be a political price to pay. That there's going to be a financial price to pay in the courts when they do it. And that's where your participation comes in. Because today's rally isn't the culmination of a campaign for safe access. It is the beginning of a campaign for safe access. There are red flyers being passed around. I want to make sure everyone who walks by gets one of those. But all of you should get one too. Take some to your friends and start making those phone calls. They need to know that when they do these things, people are watching and people are responding. And our elected officials need to know that we're holding them accountable. And if they allow this to happen, they're going to lose our votes and they're going to lose their jobs. And that is how we're going to roll back that crackdown. They don't care about the people. Those who are responsible for this can be voted out. All we need to do is put the pressure on so they know we're watching. If they don't think we're watching, they don't care what we're, we're thinking. But if they know we're watching and they know we're active, they're going to get involved in this, and they're going to start standing up for the patients. We've seen it happen in cities already, in places like San Francisco, where patients rose up and made a stand, and now they have the best medical cannabis dispensary rules in the state of California. And that's because patients stood up and made them do it. We stood up against the Highway Patrol this summer. We forced them to change their policy. The largest law enforcement agency in the state of California now respects Proposition 215, but we had to stand up and force them. That's what we have to do in places like San Diego, and that's what we have to do here in Los Angeles. So I want to encourage everyone here to get those flyers, make those calls, and then get your friends involved. It takes about three minutes to make a world of difference. And sometimes when people are out here, they look around and they say, oh, there are 20 people on the curb. This won't matter. Let me share with you a story from my birthplace in Dallas, where one year ago we had a protest just like this when the DEA came in and raided dispensaries in Northern California. And one woman on the ASA mailing list got that email and said, I'm going to do something in Dallas to protect safe access. Now, if you think bad things are bad in San Diego, you haven't seen Dallas yet. One woman went out 
in uh, Dallas, Texas, with a homemade sign on a poster board and stood in front of the federal building all by herself. For one hour, she stood there, and it just so happened that a cameraman from a news media for another story was around, and he snapped the picture. And, you know, something newsworthy, sent it back to the press room. That one picture turned up on the Associated Press and were circulated worldwide with the caption, Americans demand access to marijuana. When you're standing up for medical marijuana, you don't know where those pictures, where those sound bites, and where those impressions you make on the motorists passing by are going to end. So thank you for making a commitment to come out here and to doing this and to protecting safe access. And I want everyone here to know that every single time something like this happens, ASA will be there to stand up for the patients, stand up for the caregivers and the providers, and that is what is going to end this war on medical cannabis. So thank you again.